What are your thoughts on um like people uh because like you know you're not the same person you don't have the same the exact same ideologies and you're probably just not the same person overall um as i'm talking to you right now than you were 365 days ago mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts on people like in people as individuals both men and women um just like as time goes by um adapting different ideologies i don't want to say growing but just changing because people do change um and i think when we're talking about people um throwing away relationships i think you know people changing um whether people want to say it's for the positive or for the negative um but i think just people changing is do you think people changing is a um legitimate justification to um end a relationship basically what do you, you know some people say that they outgrew their partner what are your thoughts on that oh do you think do you think someone do you think someone out quote unquote outgrowing their partner is a is a um is like a legitimate reason and, and it binds you they feel like they outgrew their partner, mm -hmm. right? So that doesn't necessarily mean that their partner feels that, you know, uh, when they got married or whatever, when they got in a relationship, they were even level or they were, there wasn't that much room between them or even, let's say the, let's say the man was significantly higher than she was or, but, but now, but now all of a sudden, you know, um, now all of a sudden years go by and I guess she feels like she's outgrown him. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it depends on like, are we talking like career wise or just overall, just maturity level or just anything? That is, that is, that is hold on, let me pull something up real quick. Cause I saw something the other day. Uh, let me read this to you. Um, Hold on, let me find this. Uh, where is it? I got a. Uh, no, not that. Okay, not that. Hold on, Dev. I got to find this because I got to read this verbatim to you. Okay, it says. It says, so someone said, damn, y'all chicks was saying you not waiting five years for marriage, but talking about outgrowing your married partner, dot, 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 interesting. <laughs> and then someone said, let me put it in a sentence, marry me quickly. So by the time I outgrow you, I'm still fine enough to have options. Oh, God. Listen, so I think okay. I gotta put I, 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 I gotta I gotta I gotta put emojis in the comments for that one. Hold on. See, that's something that's something women don't want to talk about. That's something women don't want to talk about. So that, that's why they that's why they out here talking about they I dev, I don't know, I know you you've been in a relationship for a while now, but all these women out here nowadays are talking about, oh girl, don't be in no what the hell is this doing? Why is my emoji showing up like this? All these girls is in these relationships nowadays talking about, oh, girl, don't be in no relationship with no man for if 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 24 months come and he hasn't proposed to you or y'all not working progressing towards marriage, leave him. I literally had I literally had a girl the other day tell me, a girl on here told me that um um you know, a man has 12 months to propose to her. Otherwise, she going to end the relationship. No one's ready. That, that See, that's my thing. Like, I thought I'd be ready to get married at the two-year mark with Norton. And I wasn't ready. At two years, I wasn't mature enough to be married to him. I was still, you know walking away during arguments. I would, you know, I still, we still weren't communicating on the same level. 
you know, he wasn't, you know, emotionally there on my level. So, so we, we weren't ready at two years, okay? Now, after we got past the two-year mark, around year three, things started to get a little bit better. We started communicating effectively. We started going to therapy, um, you know, all that. So now it's kind of like, okay, like we're ready. You know, we have a house, you know, we're, we're, we're well off. Like it's, you know, it's time to get married and, you know, start having kids. But I don't know, like people that want to get married after 12 months, six months, seven months, like that's just too, mm -mm. so that's just too early, depending on how old you are. Like if you're in your, you know, early 20s, you don't need to be worried about getting married. You know, you need to be worried about getting your money up, getting your career together, building together, and then you can look into marriage because people think like marriage is just like, a, oh, yeah you know just have a wedding get a ring and then we're good you know they, they just want to show off that ring they just want to be able to tell people like oh i'm married but then they what they don't realize is that marriage is a lifetime commitment and you can't just end it whenever things get bad or tough you know like you make vows to each other you make promises to each other and people just think that marriage is a game and it's, you can just end it you know, because you happen to have a little disagreement here or there, so. Yeah, Deb, you you couldn't you couldn't have said it you couldn't have said it any better. Okay. I, I say this all the time. First of all, first of all, um, a lot of young men are not even fit to be married. And when I say fit, I'm not talking about like being physically fit to be married. I'm just talking about just the whole. I'm talking about financially. I'm talking about um, spiritually. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about um, uh, maturity wise. A lot of young men are not fit to be married. Married. That's that's a fact. Um, but especially when you're talking about we're talking about marriage and you talk about like I think as a I think as a man and this is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying it's facts, but kind of is facts. Um, as a man, uh, before you get married, I personally believe there are a lot of things that you should have in order. Um, um, I, I think financially, you should be at a certain place. Um, you definitely need to be um, not only you need to be financially stable, but not only do you need to be financially stable, but you need to you need to like be in a position to really like uh be able to because like you know as like a young adult as a self-sufficient adult you just taking care of yourself right mm -hmm. like, you and i don't have any children and even though you're in a like committed exclusive relationship but mm -hmm. i mean as a young adult like when you don't have children you don't have anyone to look after you don't have anyone to fend for like you know, all your money, like all your checks, whatever, however many sources of income, it's all for you. And you're able mm -hmm. to do whatever you want to do with it. So right. if you have debt, you pay down your debt. If you don't have debt, you can save your money. You could splurge on whatever it is you want to splurge on. But, you know, when you get married, like that's a whole, that's a whole different, that's a whole different level of commitment. Right. More so than like a boyfriend and girlfriend type of thing. Like you said, like that's a lifelong commitment. And, you know, and like, you know, I was even talking to someone about this the other day. Like it, we like uh, marriage. First of all, marriage rates is down in this country, like 60 percent over the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. and, and, and women, women specifically are um, divorcing at almost an 80 percent rate. Um, yeah. So like, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is like, you know, people, women can say what they want to say. Women do not honor their vows. You know, right. women in America do not honor their vows, whether, whether it's vows that were written for them, whether they make their own vows, they're not honoring their own vows. Um, you know, when women get bored, um, when a man falls on hard times, um, if, and when a man get fat, like, if they just get bored in general and they think, you know, they there's greener pastures elsewhere, women be throwing up the like the 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 do sign at men. Right. And when I saw when I saw that uh post, 
when I, I never even thought of it from that perspective. Like, let me, let me, like, let me, let me literally read this again. Cause I, I of, cause you know, of all the perspectives that I've had, I never even thought about it from this perspective. So, okay. So he said, damn, y'all chicks was saying you not waiting five years for marriage, but taking, but talking about outgrowing your married partner, interest, interesting. And the other dude said, let me put it in a sentence. Marry me quickly. So by the time I outgrow you, you, I, I'm fine. I'm still fine enough to have options. That's, that's a fact. That, like these women, you know, you know, and 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 rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. These women, the Kevin Samuels used to be telling these women about, you know, um, them being on a because as you know, just it's just facts at the end of the day. Like as a woman, like biologically, when it comes to having children, you know, you kind of are on a time clock, you know. Um, the older you get, um, the less eggs you have, the mm -hmm. more, the more, uh, how do I want to put this? Um, the more complications you can have when it comes to pregnancy. So, you know, you have these bird brains on the internet nowadays telling women that if a man, you know, if, if you're dating a man or you're in a relationship with a man and after like a certain amount of months or whatever, if he's if he doesn't propose to you, um, if he's not talking about being married to you or whatever, you need to get out of that relationship. Like, you know, these bird brains can keep telling these other bird brains that, mm -hmm. that and they can keep eating it up. But what these bird brains need to like know is that, you know, certain caliber of men is not buying that and not entertaining that. Like right. Yeah, like you know, no man that no man that's really accomplished really established, really successful in life, really has a career in making money is going to be like um, at a woman's behest in that manner to where you talking about you putting me, I, I've, I've said it on you, like I'm, no woman is going to put me on a time clock. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, as, as young adults, even as young adults, I think that, you know, as a man or a woman, if you're quote unquote dating with intention, you should tell somebody that, you know, as a man or a woman, if you're dating with the intention to be married and you just, just whatever, whatever it is that you got, whatever it is that you're trying to do, make that be known to the next person. So as a man or a woman, if you want to be, if you want to be engaged within the next 24 to 36 months, make that be known. If you want to be married within the next 36 to 48 months, let that be known to that person. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be and lie. Like there are people that you can be honest with and they'll still be disingenuous. They'll still lie mm -hmm. and still like waste your time and play with you. But I mean, I'm not one me personally. I'm not one of those people, but I'm just saying like, you know, there's people like that, but there's also people that if you just be honest and tell them, you know, you know, as a man or a woman, depend on what you tell them. If that's not what, if that's not where they're at, if, that, if that's not where their headspace is within that time frame that you have, they're gonna they're gonna leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? But right. I don't know. Some of these women, I don't. They, they gotta. Y'all better get off the internet, bro, because these bird brains that y'all are listening to and It'll set you up for failure. Yeah, telling y'all like, who do y'all? I wish like some of the stuff these women be telling these bird brains. I wish a woman would fix her lips to tell me some of these things. Like, <laughs> it, it's crazy, Dev. It's crazy. Yeah, because here's the thing. Here's the thing, and this is how women end up in sticky situations and in sticky marriages. What happens is, you know, they're dating this guy who hasn't really reached his full potential. You know, he's working, he's making paycheck to paycheck, he's, you know, renting, living in an apartment, doesn't really have much besides, you know, a car um not a lot of assets and then she's sitting there talking to him about marriage wanting you know trying to rush things trying to get him to propose to her in the next six months to the to a year and then once he kind of folds and is like okay let you know let's go ahead and get married and then they get married and then they're struggling financially because she didn't allow him to get to his fullest potential to be able to you know, have assets and be able to take care of her and her children. And now they stuck in, you know, a two bedroom apartment living paycheck to paycheck because, okay. you know, you didn't give the man a chance to, you know, to grow. So. 
<laughs> like, like, I mean, it's hard these days. Like, people are struggling, you know? Like, you know, so it's like people are getting married later on in life now. And, it, you know, it's not easy out here. So. Bro, I don't, like, you know, you know, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but, you know, when some of these, when, when I hear some of these women talk, when I hear them, like, even take in some of the things that these other bird brains are like saying to them on the internet it's like bro you it's like so many women you clearly didn't grow up without a dad or you're clearly just lost mm -hmm. like i i think like as even as a even as a young woman that's in your mid-20s like you as a and i'm not talking about you specifically dad i'm just talking about women in general a woman in her young 20s the average woman in her young 20s doesn't have it all together, right? Right. So what in her mind would make her think that a young man in his mid-20s would have life just all together? Exactly. Be this and and just be at this point to where he can be married and and ha and be able to provide for a woman and a whole family right now, like a, a young man in his mid twenties and the same with a young woman in her mid twenties, they're like really just starting off their careers, Dad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, it's, they it's, just it's graduated so, <laughs> college. They just graduated. They're literally starting off their careers. Some of these people are even switching careers. Something they went to school for, they got in the work field and they realized that they don't even like what they doing. They mm -hmm. might be around be going back to school. They might be trying to find another job. Like, where where are these bird brains like why can they not why can they not register this stuff and i and i don't i don't like calling women bird brains but it's like but you got to be a bird brain to like really just be taking in some of the stuff some of these women on the internet are saying yeah they're not they're not living in reality right. they're living in some like re you know reality of like delusion some fairy tale world yeah. where they're going to get a man who is making six figures and has a house and is driving a BMW. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. tell me what twenty five year old. Tell me what average twenty five year old is making two hundred thousand dollars a year and got, and got and got a and got a paid off house and a damn yeah. two paid off cars and a damn hundred thousand dollars in a four hundred one k. Like, what what twenty five year old twenty six year old has that right? And here's the thing it's like if you do want to get married you know young and you don't really have much that's cool but don't get married and have a kid and then be on his ass for the next for however long about oh we know we need to buy a house we need to do this we need to do that it's like you didn't give him a chance to really build himself so what makes you think you gonna have six seven eight thousand dollars laying around to put a down payment on a house you know y'all done had a kid already so you know you got to take care of the kid you know you're paying rent you think he has money left over to save up for a house now? Like, no, you you rushed. <laughs> you were you were too you you wanted to hurry up and play house. Like, you got the like, you was impatient, so you know. 